everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm starting to get stuff ready for next fishing season, like the tournament season. I know that sounds crazy, being that right now it's the end of November. I'm filming this. It's the end of Thanksgiving week. And I just, it's one of those things you got to get stuff ready. I mean, and plus the way, if you need baits right now and you don't have them, you may have to wait several weeks, if not months, to get it. So I'm kind of going through what I have, taking some inventory, and figuring out what I may need for some of the, the tournament lakes that I'm going to next year. And, you know, I'm going down my schedule for the pro circuit, and we're talking about a lot of grass lakes. We've got uh, Rayburn to start the year off with. Then we go to the Harris Chain in Florida. Uh, we've got Gunnersville. Uh, you know, we've got, we're going up to the James River, we got Champlain, and I don't remember where the last one is right now, but those five of six are really very much shallow water power fishing lakes with grass, and a lot of grass, and I'm talking about grass that's both emergent and submergent, where you've got hay grass, pad fields, hydrilla, milfoil, I mean, you name it, it's going to be a heavy grass year. So I started looking through my swim jigs because that is my one of my absolute favorite grass baits. And I just was trying to take inventory on what colors I needed, what size I needed. And, you know, I, I just, it's a great, great grass bait. The other bait that I, I feel like I needed to, to go through uh, was a swimming worm. You know, I've got two that I use. I've got, this is the Berkeley windup worm. And then the uh, this is the Zoom Magnum Speedworm. These two worms are my two favorite. You know, you've got a cut tail on one, you've got a boot tail on another. Both of them are phenomenal baits for winding through grass, and they come through grass really, really well. So, you know, if you're talking about some hay grass, you can bring it through it. If you're talking about hydrilla and milfoil, you can swim it over the tops. A swimming worm is a great bait, and it just got me thinking because. Down in Florida, I feel like the swimming worm is is really taking hold where a lot of people are putting that in the in in replace of a swim jig. You know, the swim jig is one of my absolute favorite baits and they are very versatile when it comes to grass. Both of these baits will do just fine in grass. But I don't think that the swimming worm is nearly as versatile as a swim jig because a swim jig isn't just a grass bait. The swim jig to me is a covering water bait. I can put it in my hand, go down the bank, throw it laydowns, throw it rocks, throw it docks, throw it points, throw it weed clumps. Whatever I come to, I can throw it a swim jig and cover a lot of water. I don't feel like I can do that with a swimming worm nearly as well. I do think that there's times when the swimming worm excels better than a swim jig, but it's usually centered around just fishing big grass clumps. So, you know, I think a swimming worm is a really good option anytime you're dealing with uh, like fish that are on bed in a big weed flat. So let's say if you're down in Florida and you've got a big, huge grass flat with a bunch of hydrilla and various weed and you'll have holes within that grass where the fish are spawning. That to me is a really good time to throw a swimming worm because you can work it much slower and kind of let it sit into those holes. You know, for me, I'll a lot of times I'll sweep a swimming worm. I'll just pull it, let it fall to the bottom, pull it, let it fall to the bottom, and I'll do it with a, a bullet weight that is not pegged. So when that when that weight falls off, the worm just glides down to the bottom. It's a very slow presentation that works really really well. When, when fishing around spawning fish. I think it also works really well in those same areas when you're talking about post-spawn fish because a lot of those fish are still up on the flat guarding fry, a lot of them are lethargic, and they may not be willing to chase a swim jig nearly as well as a slow moving worm. But if you're talking about casting and winding a worm through different grass flats and through mixture of lily pads and hay grass and Tulies and all that stuff. That to me is very similar to the to the swim jig, and I think the the swim jig has better hookups. So I'd rather throw the swim jig through that than a swimming worm. But I know the swimming worm is grabbing a lot of attention down in these places because it does get bit. I'm not saying it doesn't get bit. I just feel like the swim jig is a more versatile bait. The other time that I will 
you know, that I really like to utilize the swimming worm that gives me an advantage over the swim jig is if I'm fishing deeper, I can put this on a Carolina rig and it's a really, really good worm for fishing deeper. It gets a lot of bites. It, you know, these, if you use the larger sizes, they throw a lot of water. You attract a lot of fish. And in those situations, I do think your hookup is really good because it's a slow moving bait again. So I guess that's kind of what it comes down to for me is I feel like if I'm just trying to cover a lot of water, I think I'm better off with the swim jig. But if I feel like I need to slow down because I may have fish that are either more lethargic or on bed, uh, then I think I prefer this, this, the swimming worm in areas where I'm just trying to cast all over the place. Both of them very much have a place in the tackle box if you're dealing with, with lakes that are full of grass. Uh, I definitely think you got to have both because it's a great bait. But if I'm just covering water, I feel like I can do a much thorough, much more thorough job with the swim jig over the swimming worms. And it's probably why the swim jig is one of my absolute favorite baits. I mean, I just think it's so versatile and I've always got one tied on everywhere I go. For me, the swimming worms, I know I will throw a lot of this year. But I'm not sure that it's going to, you know, replace the swim jig. I think I'm going to have to have both. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you think the swimming worm is better than the swim jig? Do you think the swim jig is better than the swimming worm? Or do you think you need both? And I think I need both. So I've got a whole bunch on my order list. Not that I need more tackle in here because I don't even know where I'm going to put it. But I want to make sure I have it for next year's tournament season. So I'm going to put an order in for all of this stuff and make sure I have it. Hopefully I go through a bunch because that means I'm catching fish. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you got suggestions for future videos, please throw it in the comment section and stay tuned. We got another video coming out tomorrow.